Good morning, everyone. I uh, wanted to show you what I'm doing in my garden today. Yeah, those are greens back there. So, as you know, we're at the end of the season. Really, we're in the fall season here in Zone 6B. So, I will show you what's going on. I need to blanch these these celery so I'll wrap those sometime uh, next week I'll wrap those as you can see my banana plant she's still going strong with all her babies the green beans they're at an end but we got plenty of green beans on uh, from off of here and we still have plenty to get so that's pretty awesome I praise God for every single thing that we got this year we had some amazing harvest going on so that's my hibiscus that's doing well that's fizzling out um this week kind of uh we gave it a new home so we'll see how he does right there we have a lot going on over here so have cabbage over here uh there's some okra plants in there, but this right here is asparagus. That'll be fizzling out and turning brown. So we usually want it to get this color before we start to chop it down. Um, the okra, it's almost gone, uh, but it's actually still producing some okra up there. Yeah. Uh, eggplant. I just harvested uh, a few off of this yesterday. Um, this is the other Brussels sprouts. This is strawberries. A strawberry patch here. These Brussels sprouts. I'm so excited about what they're going to do. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Look how they grow. Isn't that neat? So there's definitely some Brussels we see coming on there. I love it. So uh, I think we're getting some blooms here. I'm excited about that. That's limes. So we have onions here. We have another, uh, excuse my sniffles, but it's the morning. Um, cabbage here, already forming a head. I'm super excited about that. Um, broccoli cabbage here this uh is gonna have to come out because this is a squash plant and i don't think it's gonna produce but it is beautiful that's a metal flower that i got from an art show and uh i mean <laughs> is it is it amazing or what i mean i could not resist it okay so the lemon plant it's you know dropping leaves like what it does so it's not doing anything it's not supposed to be doing at this time. More onions are in there and I really need to weed that. Um, here's some tomatoes. The tomato plants, of course, are fizzling out, but this one looked like it's just starting. So I'm gonna leave that to do its thing. I have broccoli all around this one so that when I pull out the tomato plant the broccoli will still be growing so uh, that's how I like to plant stuff you know when you know something is fizzling out like those green beans there I'll have a lot to uh, a lot of seeds to harvest from this and so your cabbage will still be growing okay over here we have our peppers that will be fizzling out but they're still growing, which I love. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna have to harvest that today. I got uh, still got some things to harvest today. I got a lot of work to do. So I harvested greens yesterday. Uh, let me go ahead and take these leaves. And as you can see, I harvest from the bottom. So I take these from the bottom. Go ahead and get those beautiful leaves. They're gorgeous. These are pretty clean, too. So, uh, yeah, take those. Um, let me see if it's got any worms on it. No, it look pretty clean. 
you have to really look at these leaves good, you know? So, okay, harvested collard greens from here. So I harvested a lot of greens yesterday. Um, harvested kale greens from here. Always harvesting from the bottom so the top can continue to grow. As you can see, I have asparagus over here too, but uh, here's more uh, kale green plants. They're doing great. Harvesting from the bottom. As you can see, I have been harvesting, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. Because we're going to eat around here. Amen. Oh, yes, we are. We're going to eat around here. Okay. So, I put in more cabbage on this side. I also have another collard green plant here. Harvesting from the bottom, as you can see. That's how we do it. So, we can make sure that it continues to grow. Okay. So we want these plants to last for at least three years. I have had uh, my collard green and my kale green plants to last for years. So uh, that's always a plus when you can nurse them so they can last uh, as kind of a, a perennial. Uh, there's another tomato plant here but uh, the bees have been amazing this year. All the pollinators have been just awesome this year. And I think it's because I put a plant in the middle of here and it's really pollinator friendly. Uh, I'll put in the description what kind of plant that is because I always forget, I always forget. Uh, let's go over to this side where the blueberry bit bush is uh, finished its cycle. So we'll wait on that in the spring. And then this uh, has been for the pollinators, pollinator friendly. Uh, I just planted these carrots in these uh, big pots. I got two of them, one over there and then one over here. They're doing great. There's another um, green bean plant there. This has weeded. I mean, I really need to come in here and do a lot of work. But uh, as you know, if you are a gardener, you know that gardening is a lot of work. Yes, it is. When people say it's not, uh, I, I don't think they tell them the truth, okay? But maybe for some people, it's not a lot of work because they don't want it to look beautiful like I like for it to look beautiful you know I think it, it's a consistency and it's a daily thing you know it's um, a job you know to grow your own food and for people to think it's easy you know you know it, it's easy to go to the grocery store you know but of course at the grocery store you're gonna have a lot of pesticides and things like that on your food and uh, we're blessed to be able to eat clean food so let's go here and do what we're doing today and that is washing greens so I harvested these greens last night and so I have to wash them today because I, it, it got dark on me. So I didn't get to wash them last night. So these are kale and collard on the other side. Take them out of these bags. It's a lot of green. 
So ever since I've been gardening, I always, I appreciate the people at the farmer's market. Now I understand why they charge um, a decent amount of money, you know, when you, uh, when you buy from the market, it's fresh food, you know.